students today we are going to see some important questions in that one among to convert Fischer's structural formula to Howard structural formula of glucose okay in our last video we have gone through that through hemiacetal formation glucose converted into alpha d glucose and beta d glucose in that six membered ring that is a six membered carbon which is connected with that first carbon which is connected with oh in the right hand side that is alpha d glucose that oh connected with the left hand side that is a beta d glucose we have gone through that but here fischer's ring structural formula which cannot indicate very clearly the spatial arrangement of atoms around the carbon atom. So that is the reason W. N. Howard has proposed six membered ring along with that structural formula he brought it. You know which structure he has taken? He has taken the pyron ring structure formula because oxygen which is connected with that six membered ring. That, that is the reason he has taken that pyron structure okay come on let us go and analyze the formula as we are writing we will come to know very clearly okay six member ring now okay carbon one two three four five and six carbon sixth carbon oh will be attached okay now this is carbon one no the oh group which is present on the right hand side that is alpha d glucose Okay, this is what we have gone through now. So that as it is like what it is, H, H, OH and H, OH, H, here H, OH and here fifth carbon, H, which is connected with oxygen and that is connected with carbon 1. So here carbon 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6. Fifth carbon, asymmetric carbon, which is the highest uh, asymmetric carbon that is what which is connected with that last class we have gone through that okay now here why do we convert as I mentioned actually that the uh, spatial arrangement of atoms around the carbon atom very clearly it is not clearly mentioned the ring structure we could not identify that so Howard has given that what it is pyron structure in that pyron oxygen which is connected with that six hexagonal shape no so that is what he has taken so spatial arrangement very clearly it has mentioned okay now here the six membered ring because six carbon it is there so six membered ring in that one oxygen which is connected here okay now fifth carbon which is having that highest here oh no so in that way he has mentioned okay now that oh group present on the right hand side he has mentioned below the six member ring. So that OH which is present on the right hand side which has mentioned here in the below of the hexagon shape. Okay, so that means here the same as it is H, OH. Here OH, H. And here H, OH. And then here CH2OH and then H. So that's all simple. So he has mentioned that this is alpha D plus glucopyranose. Okay, pyranose why he has taken because pyron structure he has taken six member ring connected with oxygen that is pyron. So the same way he has brought it. See, it's so simple. See OH group present on the right hand side from the fissures structural formula that is what it is alpha d glucose the same idea you just bring it here six membered ring in the oh group present on the below of that six membered ring below then other than that everything same in out in out in out like you remember so oh group present on the below of that second that is called what it is alpha d plus glucopyranose okay hope you are clear with that pyranose now the same way as i mentioned beta d glucopyranose how do we write it just the opposite here this oh group will be present on the top so that's all about what it is beta d glucopyranose 
pyranose. Hope you're clear. Now, beta D glucose, how will you write it? This OH which will be present on the left hand side. So, that is what it is. Beta D glucopyranose. Okay, here itself I just mentioned here. Here H, here OH. So, this is what it is. Beta D glucopyranose. The same way here. Here H, here OH. And this is beta D glucopyranose. Hope you are clear with it. What is alpha D glucopyranose and beta D glucopyranose? And actually, it's so simple. Like sometimes they may ask that three more question or two more question also. How to convert Fisher's structural formula to Howard structural formula? What is that reason we are changing that? Because actually the spatial arrangement which is not so clear, it does not indicate that spatial arrangement of atoms around the carbon atom. So that is the reason they have converted what it is Fisher's structure to Howard structure. Who has converted Howard? Hope you are clear with these points. So long we have gone through glucose, the general idea and formula, what are the formation, everything we have gone through. Now we are going to see the fructose. It's very interesting and fructose, it's a fruit sugar, that, that is grape sugar. Okay, glucose, it is a grape sugar and fructose, it's a fruit sugar, generally fruit sugar. Okay, monosaccharide found in many plants, honey, mainly in honey, tree, wine fruits and flowers, berries and root vegetables and it is a levorotatory. Glucose, it is a dextrorotatory, right hand side, levorotatory, left hand side. Okay, then white color, crystalline solid and no smell. That's all about the fructose and fructose is also known as ketohexose. You know six member carbon it is available, C6H12O6, right? C6 H12O6. That is a fructose. Then what is the formula here? First carbon also CH2OH. Last carbon also CH2OH. In that second carbon keto group it is available. Already in my first video of biomolecules I have given a very clear idea about the structural formula of glucose and fructose. So fructose it is a ketohexose and glucose it is a aldohexose. I just mentioned aldehyde and keto group which is present in the carbohydrate as I mentioned and then here OH, H and H, OH and H, OH and then CH2OH. So the first carbon and last carbon it is having what it is primary alcohol group CH2OH. Okay now as we are mentioning about the Fisher's structural formula what are the alpha and beta formation now let us go on identify. So, the speciality of fractose which is having 5 membered ring as well as 6 membered ring in the equilibrium in aqueous solution. Okay, now suppose we are taking 6th carbon as a ring formation, ring structure, which is connected with oxygen, means that is pyranose ring structure. Suppose if we are taking that 5th carbon as a ring formation, ring structure, means that is furanose ring structure. So pyranose means six membered ring connected with oxygen furanose means five membered ring with that oxygen hope you're clear okay now we are going to see alpha and beta fractopyranose and fracto furanose okay hope you're clear with that just let us go for that so you will come to know the second carbon only keto group so second carbon only we are converting what it is ketone so the second carbon here OH which is present on the right hand side the same idea only only thing the arrangement will be vary the same idea OH group present on the right hand side means that is alpha okay now here CH2OH right now here third carbon so this is the first carbon second carbon here third carbon COH and here H and then here fourth carbon C H O H and then here C H here O H and then C here H2 right here H2 this O H 
that hydrogen which is connected over here with the keto group this is formed as a ring formation linkage with oxygen hope you are clear with this so this is alpha d plus fracto fracto furanose or pyranose furanose or pyranose pyranose because it is the sixth carbon which is attached with oxygen it is fracto pyranose so remember uh, furanose it is a five membered ring connected with oxygen pyranose which is a six membered ring connected with oxygen okay now this is alpha i just mentioned now suppose if it is beta before i could write only you people will come to know how to write that beta the ch2oh will go here this oh will come here so the oh group which is present in the left hand side that is called beta b gluco pyranose whether it is a pyranose or furanose pyranose because it is the sixth carbon which is going to attach with that okay as we are uh, writing here just uh, i just change this so that we will write it oh here ch2 oh so this is what it is beta d plus glucopyranose hope you are clear with that alpha and beta glucopyranose hope you are clear okay the same way next to one we are going to see alpha and beta glucofuranose furanose it is a five membered ring okay let us go and identify that one alpha and beta fractofuranose now that furanose structure let us go for that this carbon only no carbon which is connected with here the same oh here CH2OH the same idea only here C here what it is OH H and then here C H OH and this is 1 2 3 4 here fifth carbon which is attached with that here H here which is connected with that oxygen and that is connected with that what it is keto group which has changed okay now here ch2oh so that means here fifth carbon according to that this is fifth carbon no so this fifth carbon which is form a ring structure okay with that oxygen so that is called furanose now can you tell whether it is a alpha furanose or beta furanose fracto furanose alpha d plus fracto furanose okay alpha d plus fracto furanose okay furanose why do we say it is a fracto furanose because fifth carbon which is form a ring structure with that oxygen so that is what so five membered ring which is connected with oxygen that is furon so that is what furanose we are saying so fracto furanose suppose if it is beta there that oh will be going and attach so that here ch2 oh will be coming here here this point where it is oh which is connected so that is beta beta d plus fracto furanose hope you are clear with that what it is alpha fracto furanose beta d plus fracto furanose hope you are clear okay now that the six numbered ring let us go and identify so now as we followed that glucose now we are going to see the fractose also fractose converted into alpha d plus fractopyranose and beta d plus fractopyranose already we have gone through how it has converted now that fischer's ring structure this is actually fischer's ring structure it is converted into howard ring structure you know six membered ring which is connected with oxygen pyranose ring structure okay why do we go for that structure because it does not indicate that atoms around the carbon atom that is what we are going for the three dimensional uh, what it is a uh, space a spatial arrangement okay let us go for the same idea only we are giving here the same six membered ring okay now here what it is oxygen which is connected with it now this oh which is present on below to that uh, 
point. Okay, so CH2, OH, here OH below to that connected with that hexagon shape. Okay, now here what it is same as it is here OH and H and then here H, OH and here H, OH and then the last one what it is here H and here H that is connected with oxygen. Hope you are clear. So what do we call this is alpha B plus fractopyranose. Okay. Now suppose if it is beta D plus fractopyranose, how will you do that? Just I will draw this one. This also same easy only. Okay, now here oxygen will be there same in that place only. Here, now where that OH will be going to attach, I hope you know very well. Now this OH will be represent here CH2OH. Why? Because it is beta. See that same thing OH will be there. Right hand side OH present means that is alpha. Left hand side OH present means that is beta. So simple. I hope you are clear with that. Now the same as it is. Here, what it is? OH, H, here, H. OH and here, H, OH and then here, H and here, H. See, H2 is there, no? The same. All the, Both are little bit similar only. Only the first carbon that is actually keto group carbon only, which has changed. Okay, now this is what it is. Beta. D plus fractopyranose. Hope you are clear with this alpha and beta fractopyranose. The same way you have to go for fractofuranose. That is also so simple and easy. Okay. Hope you are clear. If you are thorough, you just take that screenshot and you just go through that. I hope you are clear with that. Now we are going to see that Fisher's ring structure converted into Haworth ring structure. You know what purpose we are going for that Fisher's ring structure to Haworth ring structure? You know very well already I have explained. Okay, now come on let us go for the fractose converted into alpha D plus fractofuranose, beta D plus fractofuranose. This is actually what it is Fisher's ring structure. Now it has converted into five membered Haworth ring structure. So, five membered, what it is? This is five membered ring which is connected with oxygen, like cup shape, a cake. Okay, now the same idea only you are following OH group which is attached with that below. So, here that means here OH, here CH2OH. That's all. Remaining as it is here OH. H here H O H and here C here what it is C H two O H C H two O H and this carbon which is connected with the hydrogen so that is attached with that oxygen that is attached with that oxygen so this is what it is alpha why we are telling alpha this O H represent in that below if it is above naturally you will know the answer. Okay, D plus fractofuranose. Okay, now the same way. Now, can you write that beta D plus fractofuranose? Yes, come on, let us go and write it. Here the same way. Here, where that OH will be coming? Yes, I can hear the top. CH2OH. And then here, what it is? OH, H, here, H, OH. And then here, same as it is, CH2, OH. And then here, H. This H, you know where it is? That it is, comes from here. H, that is connected with the oxygen. Hope you are clear with this. So, what is the name for it? Beta, B plus fracto. Furanos. Okay. Hope you are clear with it. All these points. 
something is missing can you identify what it is missing oxygen so five membered ring which is connected with oxygen that is furon okay generally we say five membered ring which is connected with oxygen that is furon the same way six membered ring connected with oxygen that is pyron so that is the reason we are mentioning here pyranose and furanose i hope you got that idea furanose why that name has come furanose because fifth carbon which is attached that oxygen that is form a ring structure so that is what we are mentioning here furanose fracto furanose the same way alpha beta alpha means oh group will be there on the right hand side the same way beta means oh group will be present on the left hand side that is common for all whether it is glucose or fructose whatever it is that is common for oh group present on left and right okay now the next one here fructose you have gone through that very clearly with that fisher's uh, structure to howard structure actually this topic completely i hope you are clear with that uh, fisher's ring structure and uh, howard ring structure how to convert what is the purpose we are converting i hope you are clear with that reason for that conversion of our ring structure i hope you are clear with that thanks for watching please subscribe this channel and you will get all the notification for further okay thank you